Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Debbie and today I have a get ready with me video. If you guys want to see how I get ready and how I end up looking like this, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's get started. I am going to go right into the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. Um, I'm sure if you've seen some of my other videos, you guys know that this is one of my favorite, favorite facial sprays. Alright, so next I'm going to go in with this moisturizer. This has a little bit of SPF in it. And I'm just going to apply that on my face. Alright, so now that I'm done applying my moisturizer, I'm going to allow my skin to absorb all of that and everything to settle. And I'm just going to take a tissue and I'm just going to wipe off any product that is on my brows. So any of that spray and any of that um, moisturizer just so it's easier to do my brows. Because you guys, I have been starting off doing my brows first a lot lately just because... I am trying to grow them out so they need a lot of love and attention especially at the moment since I am trying to grow them out so as you can see I have a lot of hairs growing in but don't worry because we are going to correct all of that and we are going to conceal all that all right so we are going to jump in with where is this thing oh it's in here so I'm going to go on with this from BH Cosmetics. This is the BH Studio Pro Eyebrow Palette. And I've shown you guys this before and this is what it looks like. I like to use this one and this one a lot. As you can see, this one already has like a dent in it and so does this one. So all I'm doing is taking a brush. Any brush will do, but I am using the BH Cosmetics um, number 12 brush. And all I'm really going to do, you guys, is take the brush and I'm just going to start following the natural hairs of my brow and just filling them in. No, you guys, this is not an eyebrow tutorial, but if you guys want to see an in-depth one, leave me a comment down below and I will try to make that happen. Because I know the struggle of, like, trying to make your brows look nice and clean while you're trying to grow them out but honestly it's been pretty easy just because of the steps that I've been taking and just what I've been doing in general so it really hasn't bothered me much and I think I'm in my second week or two and a half week mark I have to check Alright, so now that I'm done filling them in, I'm going to go in with this LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. And this is in the shade Creamy Beige. I'm also taking a flat brush like this, and this is from BH Cosmetics. And all I'm doing is grabbing a little bit of the concealer, applying that on the back of my hand just like that. And I'm just grabbing the brush and grabbing some of that product. And I'm going to just outline my brow and that's going to clean up and it's going to conceal any of those little hairs that you have growing in. Alright, so now that I'm done concealing and cleaning up my brows, I am going to jump into primer. And for today, since my skin is feeling a tad bit dry, I am going to go in with that Master Prime from Maybelline. And I'm just going to apply that all over the face. I'm also going to go in with another primer and this one I recently just purchased. This is the NYX Pore Filler Primer 
And all I'm doing is applying this on my pores area, which is right here. On the nostrils right here. On right here on my smile lines. A little bit uh, close to my cheeks, just like that. All right, guys, so for foundation today, I'm going to go in with this one from L'Oreal. This is the True Match Lumi, and I have this in the shade Sun Beige. I'm also going to grab a clean brush, and I think I'm going to use this one. This one is from Sephora. This is like a round top kabuki brush, and um, but they call it a mineral powder brush. This is the number 45, and I've had this for such a long time. And it's actually one of my favorite brushes because it applies the foundation really, really nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually apply like two pumps on here. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face just like that. I like this brush because it applies the product really nicely. And it doesn't leave any streaks, which is really important because I hate when brushes don't blend out products nicely and you have like a whole racetrack on your face, you know? All right, so for concealer, I'm gonna go in with this one from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. I haven't used this one in a couple weeks, so I'm just gonna use this one for today. And this is in the shade Warm Beige. I'm going to use the same brush and blend that out. I'm also going to grab this one from the Born This Way and this is in the shade Mocha and I'm going to use this just to bronze up my face a little bit. So I'm going to use a little bit because I know a little bit goes a long way with this product. So literally just a little bit and I'm gonna take one of my favorite brushes and this is the Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just going to blend that out I'm also going to go right back in with that brush that I used to apply the foundation and just pat that in. Alrighty, so now to set everything, I'm going to go in with this one right here. This has been my favorite, favorite setting powder and this is super, super affordable. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. I really 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 obsessed with this um, it doesn't dry out my under eye it really sets everything in place nicely and it doesn't crease on me which is actually really really nice so I'm grabbing my Kat Von D brush and I'm just using that to set my under eye set my forehead a little bit my chin don't forget those smile lines because if I don't set that I see the creasing throughout the day so I like to set that really really good I even like to leave it just a little bit not like bake it, bake it completely, but just leave it on a little bit longer so my smile lines don't like start appearing throughout the day. 
Then I'm going to go on with this one from Tarte. This is the Pro Glow Palette. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of this powder bronzer just to set the bronzer that I applied onto my face. And that's pretty much it. I'm taking the same brush from Kat Von D and I'm just applying that on those areas right there. going to add some to the nose just like that really quickly. Apply some to the forehead just like that. Nothing crazy. Then I'm just going to remove this, the remaining loose powder on the smile lines area. And since I'm already in this palette, I'm going to grab, I don't know what I want to grab. I think I'm gonna grab, let's see. I think I'm gonna grab Stunner, and it's this shade right here. I'm gonna grab that one, and I'm just gonna grab this uh, Royal and Lang Nickel Fan Brush, and apply some of Stunner right there. I always apply highlighter, so I mean if you don't want to apply highlight, you do not have to, but I always apply some type of highlighter. And if you feel like it's too much, just go back in with that loose powder brush that you used and just pat it out a little bit, just like that, and it'll be a little bit more subtle, just like that. So. Especially if you're just like running around and you don't want to be like bam in people's face, you know, but um, I don't mind it. So um, moving into eyes, I love this palette. This is the subculture palette. I really love this palette. I think the shades on here are really nice. I mean, they are very different as you can see. But I really love this shade Roxy. I wish that they ha I have to check. I've never checked. Never really looked into it. So I can't say that I wish they had it. Because I don't know if they have it. But if they do. Once I run out of this shade. I definitely want to purchase the shade Roxy. Because it is the perfect shade. Of like peachy. I don't know. Like just peachy. Coral kind of shade. So. I'm going to apply that shade right here into the crease just like that. And all I did was grab this brush. I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I'm guessing this is a BH Cosmetics blending brush. And all I'm doing is grabbing that shade and just applying that onto the crease just like that. And you can apply as many layers as you want. It can be really light. It can be really intense. It's really up to your liking. So I think that is good for me for the moment. Alright, so moving on to another palette. This is another Anastasia of Beverly Hills palette. I don't remember the name of this one, but it looks just like that. It's black and gold. And I'm going to go in with this shade Morocco. It's a burnt orange shade. And all I'm doing is applying that shade right on top of that shade Roxy. Just like that. And then blending it out on the outer corner. Just like that in like circular motion. And then bringing it into the outer to the inner corner just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And going right back into that subculture palette, I'm grabbing this one shade called Adorn. I really love this shade. It's a very like bronzy, metallic-y shade. And I'm just applying that on the middle part of the lid just like that and then I'm just gonna go in with that blending brush and just blend everything together just 
like that. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe 506 brush and I'm gonna grab that shade Morocco from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm just going to run that on the lower lash line just like that. I'm gonna go in with an eyelash curler and I'm just going to curl my lashes just a little bit because I don't feel like applying any lashes today. All right, so today I think I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush and this is from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Mellow Wine. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit and this is very, very pigmented, so just be careful. You don't wanna have a heavy hand with this blush. So I'm just gonna apply a tad bit, just like that. Just to give myself a little bit of color on the cheeks, like a little flush, just like that. A little bit on the nose. And for lips, I don't know what I want. I have been sticking to my LA Girl one. I have been really loving this one. This is the shade Enduring Mauve. So I think I'm just going to use this one. And on top of that lip liner, I'm going to go in with this Lottie London Slay All Day Long Wear Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade, I don't even know. Oh, Work It. So it's this one right here, and it's called Work It. All right, so to set my face today, I'm gonna to go in with this one next. This is the Matte Finish Spray, and I'm just going to spray that all over my face. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.